This amazing quote by me pretty much sums up my views on everything. The following is my theory of art. Um, it's not original necessarily, and it's not even super intelligent, but I think it works. Art is beauty communicated. Content is communication. So like uh, the Mona Lisa, uh, the fact that it's a woman, right? That's, that's, the commu that's the content, right? And that's what communicates. If it was something that we didn't understand, then it wouldn't be communicating anything. That's why abstract art is terrible and doesn't communicate to you. The beauty is in the form. So it's how Leonardo da Vinci paints the Mona Lisa that makes it beautiful. If it was just a stick drawing, you know, it wouldn't be beautiful. The content should be as simple as possible in order to communicate. Um, so like the Infinity Stones, uh, Infinity War. Thanos is going after six stones. And that's pretty much the entire, you can sum up the whole story with that. And so it's simple, so it communicates to everybody. The Last Jedi, nobody knows what the hell's going on. You can't sum that up in three words or even two sentences. And that's why it sucks, and that's why it communicates nothing. Abstract art also fails to communicate because you don't even know what you're looking at. Complex form, the form should be as complex as possible. So though Mona Lisa is a simple subject matter, the way he uses his brush strokes and whatnot are probably incredibly complex. I don't know anything about painting uh you know a fugue by bach he's simple melody but the things he does with it are extremely complex and that's where the beauty comes in that's what makes makes it beautiful so yeah and then you got the um abstract artists and the uh, like people like banksy who i consider to be more like activists or they have a message but they don't have any form at all right there's nothing complex going on in a banksy piece it's a kid could do it it's it's more of an idea right and that doesn't, that's not what art is. Art is an idea developed and with form, and preferably complex form. Art is simple content and complex form. And you can judge it based on that. How simple was the content? How complex was the form? And you can come at a pretty good, um, you can be able to grade it. You can grade it then on how good it was, how successful it was, or how shit it is. Look at this ugly pile of shit. And then there's the people who say that art is subjective, but that they're just the idiots because <clears throat> it's already been argued that if art is subjective, then you can't even talk about it. There wouldn't be anything to talk about ever. You wouldn't have critics. All criticism would be pointless. Some people believe that critics are like the uh, art critics are like the um, custodians of, of art and art is the most important thing in the world. So critics are among the most important people in the world. The only people being more important are the actual artists. Critics protect the people from shit art and help them, give them, present to them good art. Um, without critics, all of the, all the idiots and everybody would just be listening to Britney Spears and all the shit that just has fireworks and, and you know, colors and, and loud noises, and flashy bullshit. Tits and cars and guns and, and things like that. Someone else coined this term. The intentional fallacy is the idea that you have to know what Leonardo da Vinci, da Vinci was thinking when he made the Mona Lisa. And um, what did he mean by it? And what was his life like? According to uh, the person who coined this, that's it's bullshit. A piece of art should be, uh, should be evaluated based on the art itself, not uh, external things. Um, however, there are some people who think that, uh, who disagree, who think that it does matter what the artist was thinking and that you should go into his life to figure out, to fully appreciate his art. I don't agree though. I think it is bullshit and you should look at the art for what it is. And it doesn't, I don't really care what the artist had for breakfast that morning. The effective uh, fallacy is the idea that the effect of the art is important. So the fact that Britney Spears has sold a billion albums means that she's, she makes great music. Or the fact that Mozart's been uh, famous for over 500 years means that he's good. It doesn't. Uh, the art should be judged on, you know, the art, not on its effect. And, uh, you know, there's plenty of great artists who were never famous. And you can't say they're shitty artists, therefore. Bach, Bach was unknown for hundreds, 100 years, at least, uh, after he died. So based on those two ideas, I thought of a couple ideas. Uh, intentional disconnection is the idea that, and I, I created this, the idea that the artist 
doesn't have to uh, defend his art, talk about what he was thinking when he did it. Uh, if it's been 10 years, he probably doesn't even remember what his intentions were. And he's well within his rights to say, I don't know, you know, I, I, I don't know why I did it and uh, I don't know what it means. Or I don't have to uh, explain anything. My other idea, effective disconnection, the idea that if my art sells a million copies, uh, I shouldn't take it to mean that my art was really good. And if my art sells, sells no copies, I shouldn't take it that my art sucks. Also, if somebody praises my art, I shouldn't take it. I won't take it seriously anyways, because I'll think that, you know, well, they're just flattering me. Or, and if they say that my art sucks, I'm just going to think they're an idiot anyways. So it really doesn't matter. You're not going to believe somebody that says that your art's great or that it sucks. So you have to disconnect from the effect of your art. Another idea of mine, uh, music exists in time and sound. Music basically is time and sound. There is nothing to see and there is no space. Whereas paintings exist in space and sight. They are space and visuals. They have no sound. Uh, there is no time. And basically, these arts are wonderful because they exclude certain things. It is bad to mix arts. So a movie, for example, is inferior to music or a painting because it's got everything. It leaves very little to the imagination. Uh, music and visual arts do not exponentially improve each other. It's quite the opposite. They, they're detrimental to each other. Um, in movies, it seems at first like they do improve each other, but I find that they don't have staying power. So like a really touching scene with music and beautiful stuff, visuals, it might impact you immediately, but it gets old really quickly and it doesn't have staying power. And you know, if you just put a, a box song on while you're looking at the Mona Lisa, it's not like that's 10 times better because we got the two of them together. You know, like a guy that makes a movie where he's got uh, Mozart's music and he's got Picasso's paintings. That doesn't make the movie a million times better than anything Picasso did on his own or that uh, Bach did, Mozart did on, on his own. Some arts are better than other arts. So music without lyrics, that is simply music, is better than music with lyrics because it's, concentra it's concentrated. Uh, music with drums is inferior to music without drums because there's nothing intrinsically musical about drums, percussion. So drums are bad. Um, musicians are inferior to composers. Actors are inferior to writers. Directors are inferior to writers. Superior arts have longevity. So a crappier art, like being in a boy band, uh, you, you hit your peak very early and then you're done. Really great art, like whatever, Shakespeare, Dostoevsky, Bach, those artists can write, they can do their best stuff well into their 70s because the real arts, the superior arts, you get better as you age. You just keep getting better. Uh, the shitty arts, you just, you level off really quickly. Like Drake, he's done. He'll never make great or good stuff because there's not much in it. There's not much to do. And that's why hacks like the Rolling Stones or Steven Spielberg, that's why they're basically done. That's why they can't do great music or great movies anymore because they never were making great music or movies um, they were flashes in the pan so that's it I hope you enjoyed my art theory if you support gays click like if you respect blacks comment if you think women are people too click the notification bell and if you care about sick children subscribe <laughs>